always heal, mm -hmm. and mamas always heal. <laughs> so we're gonna start. This is story number two. Mm -hmm. We did number one already. Number two. All we you can start. Once upon a time, there was this little girl. Um, she was a princess, soon to be like a queen and stuff, and she was like trapped in the tower for like twenty four seven. And she had a little brother, and her and her little brother were destined to get out the tower. So they started planning on what they could do to get out the tower. Every day and every night, they gathered their plan, and then... And then they... They... The king saw their plan because they had like a poster board for it. And the king saw their plan and got upset at them. <laughs> and when he got upset, what's the princess name? Savannah. Princess Savannah was scared. She was so scared that she told her little brother, the Dan, that Savannah and the Dan. She told the Dan that. We have to come up with another master plan. So they started thinking and thinking and thinking of what to do. So the Dan said, gather some wood. And the Dan and Savannah one night set out to gather the wood while the king was sleeping so they wouldn't be caught. So that night... Mama, they, was, they stuck in the tower. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so... So the wood that got inside the tower. Oh, the wood is inside the tower. Okay. And we're back. <laughs> so inside the tower, they went to the basement where they have the furnace. Um, and it's an old fashioned furnace. So they you know they put wood in there to keep it, um, keep it. <laughs> so they went and got wood from the basement. And they got made sure they got enough to carry out their plan. And then and they got wood and wood and wood and they <laughs> um they created a sword to um attack the king okay okay <laughs> and then with the sword that they made out of wood i don't know how sharp it would be but they made out of wood they they carved it and savannah made one for the dan too so the dan had a little one and savannah had a, a real one they hid it under their pillows because they didn't want the king to see so they snuck and they hid it very very well then one day when the king came in they decided to tell him that they were leaving but of course the king being the king was not going for that. He said, absolutely not. I forbid you to leave. You have to stay here until I say you can leave. Which in his mind was pretty much forever. But they weren't going for that. They had made the plan. Days, nights spent making this plan. And now we, they were determined to get out. So they said, no, king, we're leaving. He said, no, you're not. And they said, yes, we are. And they said, no, you're not. And then they say, yes, we are. And then they started to go. And the king blocked them off and car called his guards and said, you're not leaving. Stop them from going anywhere. And then. And then the um, king got his guards and the guards put him in, put them all in this room. And the king was telling the children that they, that he didn't want them to leave because his their mother was sick. The queen was sick. And he didn't want them to leave because he didn't want to lose another person. And mm -hmm. so... The princess and the Dan, the Dan, yeah, the Dan, um, they were upset. They started crying. They started doing everything, and the guards found the swords. Then, then Savannah felt bad. She felt really bad. She felt bad because they were trying to sneak away, and they knew that the queen was sick. Not only that, she felt bad because they created swords to do damage, and she knew that was wrong. So the first thing that Dan said was, that's mine, I made them. And then Savannah said, no, the Dan, I made them. And they kept going back and forth, back and forth until the guards just said, hush. Everybody be quiet. And they threw the swords. They said, if anybody tries to leave again or create anything to do any harm, it's going to be a problem. So Savannah said, 
Okay. And then. And then. Now their swords were gone, which were their weapons that they could have used to possibly get out, whether it means to pick the lock or to defend themselves. So now the swords were gone and they had to reformulate their plan. And of course, now they have new motive behind their plan because now they know that their mom is sick and they know of a place and a person they can go to help her with her illness. But in order to do that, they have to leave the tower. And even though they tried to tell the king that, he didn't want to hear that because he didn't want them to leave. He didn't want them to take the chance um, of leaving and not coming back. So the king was actually a straight up lie. The children went into the room that their king told what their mother was in and the king and the children found out that their mother wasn't sick. She was in a well, healthy condition. And the kids were trying to tell her that uh, their father wouldn't let her let them leave. And their mother was like, I told him always to let you guys go out into the garden. The children didn't even know they had a garden. They, they were upset. They were furious at their father. And one night they stormed out of the building by themselves no plan or anything and they ran out and they they <laughs> ran <laughs> and they kept running Honey. and they kept running Honey. and then of course the damn fail oh. it's always somebody that has to fall <laughs> he fell down savannah said to dan keep coming he said savannah I can't. And before you know it, the soldiers was right there to carry him back to the tower. And they went back to the tower. And then... So now everyone is back at the castle and the king begins to think that his children have done all this just to be able to run away and go out. And he thought he was keeping them safe in the tower away from the very cruel world. And he didn't want them to experience that. But he realized what he's doing is not right. So he finally decides that he's going to let them go. And from that day forward, the Dan, Savannah, the king, and the queen were so happy. They let them go outside. They got to smell the air. They got to play in the grass. And they got to have just a good time. And the king realized he was wrong for making them stay in that tower. And that is it, folks? They live happily ever after. Yay. <laughs>